Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two circles uh, with the centers uh, P and Q fully inscribed uh, in a blue rectangle as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, these uh, two circles are uh, tangent to each other as well. And moreover, uh, the length uh, of this blue rectangle is uh, 169 units whereas uh, the width uh, is uh, 98 units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, circle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started with the solution and in this video i am going to share with you with two different approaches so therefore please watch the video till the very end and here's our very first method and in this uh, next step I'm going to connect uh, these uh, points of tangency D and B as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, BD is the diameter of this uh, larger circle and we can see this uh, diameter length uh, is going to be equal to this width which is uh, 98 units so therefore uh, the diameter of this uh, larger circle uh, is going to be 98. So the radius uh, of this larger circle is going to be half of 98 uh, is going to be 49. I'm going to label uh, the radius uh, uppercase R is going to be equal to 49. So the radius of this uh, larger circle uh, is going to be 49. And likewise, I'm going to connect uh, this uh, point of tangency A and this center P. As you can see in this uh, next step, we can see this AP is the radius of this uh, green shaded circle. And this uh, radius is unknown. I'm going to label this radius uh, as uh, lowercase r. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, radius uh, lowercase r. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be exactly 90 degrees. So no wonder uh, these angles are going to be 90 degrees each since uh, these are our radii and this uh, is our tangent line. And now in this uh, next step, I'm going to connect uh, these two centers P and Q. As you can see in this uh, next step, and now let's recall this uh, crucial fact the centers and the points of tangency are collinear so no wonder these centers p and q and this point of tangency lie on the very same line and now let's make an observation we can see this is the radius of this uh, larger circle which is 49 and this is the radius of the smaller circle that is uh, lowercase r so therefore uh, this whole uh, segment PQ length is going to be lowercase r plus uh, 49 and in this uh, next step I have dropped this uh, perpendicular PF on this uh, radius uh, BQ and as a result we are ended up with this uh, right triangle PFQ and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, BF uh, segment length uh, equal to this uh, lowercase r and we know this uh, whole radius uh, is 49 so therefore uh, this tiny segment uh, fq length is going to be 49 minus uh, lowercase r and furthermore let's make an observation we can see this uh, segment uh, is uh, lowercase r uh, the radius of this uh, green circle whereas uh, this is the radius of this uh, larger circle which is uh, 49 and we know this whole uh, length uh, is 169 so therefore uh, this whole uh, length uh, is uh, 169 so therefore uh, this remaining segment uh, a b length is going to be 169 minus 49 minus uh, r and if we simplify that is going to give us 120 minus uh, r now we know that this uh, pf uh, segment uh, 
is equal to this uh, AB segment. So therefore, uh, this PF segment is going to be 120 minus R as well. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle PFQ, as you can see over here. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for uh, radius lowercase r. And here is our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. In our case, our hypotenuse is uh, lowercase r plus 49, whereas our two other legs are 120 minus r and uh, 49 minus r. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, 49 minus r whole square plus uh, 120 minus r whole square is going to be equal to r plus 49 whole square. And now let's recall these two famous identities, uh, a plus b whole square and this is uh, a minus b whole square. We are going to apply these uh, identities uh, on uh, these uh, binomials. So therefore we can write uh, 2401 minus 98 times r plus r square plus likewise 144 with 20 minus 240 times r plus r square is going to be equal to r square plus 98 times r plus 2401 and now we can see 2401 cancels out with this uh, 2401 and this r square cancels out with the this uh, r square and now we are going to combine these uh, two like terms and here i'm going to subtract 98 r from both sides this is gone so therefore we are ended up with the uh, r square minus uh, 436 times uh, r plus 14,400 equal to 0. So thus we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve by grouping and factoring. And you may use the quadratic formula as well to solve this uh, quadratic equation. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, middle term. We can uh, tweak this one. This could be written as uh, negative 400 times r minus 36 times r and we know negative 400 times negative 36 is going to give us indeed 14,400 and now we can see between first two terms r is in common and between last two terms negative 36 is in common so we're going to factor out uh, lowercase r. We are going to get r minus uh, 400. Here I'm going to factor out uh, negative 36 uh, and then times uh, r minus uh, 400 equal to 0. And now we can see r minus 400 and r minus 400. They are in common. So therefore we can write uh, r minus uh, 36 times uh, r minus uh, 400 equal to 0. And now since these two factors equal to 0, so therefore we can separate them r minus 36 equal to 0 and r minus 400 equal to 0. So therefore uh, in this case our radius equals to 36 and here our radius is 400. And here we can see radius uh, 400 is not feasible, is too big. So therefore we are going to reject uh, this r equals to 400 value and we are going to accept r equal to 36. So thus the radius of this uh, green circle turns out to be 36. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi r square where lowercase r is the radius. So therefore our green circle area is going to be pi times our radius uh, is 36 uh, whole square and that's going to be equal to 1296 uh, times uh, pi square uh, units uh, 
the area of this uh, green circle. So thus the green circle area turns out to be 1296 times pi square units. And that's going to be approximately equal to 4071.5 square units as well by using the very first method. And now let me share with you the second method as well. And in this method, I'm going to show you only how to find uh, the radius uh, lowercase uh, r. And we are going to use this uh, very simple formula, the square root of x equal to the square root of uppercase r plus the square root of uh, lowercase r. And here our uh, x uh, value is uh, 100. Uh, and 69. So therefore I'm going to replace uh, x with the uh, 169 over here and we know our uh, uppercase r value is 49. So therefore I'm going to substitute uh, uppercase r value 49 uh, over here and now we know our uh, square root of 169 is uh, 13 equals to square root of 49 is 7 plus uh, the square root of lowercase r and now we are going to subtract 7 from both sides this is gone so therefore uh, our square root of r value turns out to be 13 minus 7 is going to give us 6 and now i'm going to undo the square root by taking the square on both uh, sides so therefore our radius uh, lowercase r value simply turns out to be 36 uh, units so thus our radius lowercase r value turns out to be 36 by using this very simple formula. And once we figure out our lowercase r value, we can easily figure out uh, the area of this green shaded uh, circle. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.